What's up guys, Double Dog Gamer here, and that is right, we are back playing Battlefield 2042. I haven't played it in quite some time, ever since, you know, the first season came out and we gave it a, a good shot again. And I decided to boot it up with this new season and new changes, and I've been very pleasantly surprised. I've been playing it pretty much all week, put about 40 hours into it, and it almost, it's almost a perfect Battlefield game again. It almost feels like a true successor to Battlefield 4, and it might now be worth the install for you to try. But before we get started today, I would like to thank today's video sponsor, Zydax PC. Zydax PCs is the best builder on the market for pre-built PCs. I've been using them for years. They are priced very well. They have amazing builds that I've never had any problems with, and they carry a lifetime warranty on parts. If your GPU dies five years down the road, they will replace it for you for free. They are the best in the business. Highly suggest you check them out if you're like me and you're not crafty, and every time you try to put something together, it breaks. So make sure you guys check out Zydex PCs down in the link in the description. So Battlefield 2042, if you were like me and you got your hands on Battlefield 2042, and you were just excited because there was nothing to play, and you started playing it, and you dumped a few days into it, and you realized, wow, this is a kind of a crappy Battlefield game, um, and then just uninstalled it. You might be kind of surprised as to where it is right now um, in its development cycle. Now, lately, we've been seeing that games are slow to realize their potential. You got games like Cyberpunk, which was a disaster, but now is amazing. Um, no Man's Sky, which started off terrible and is awesome now. And the list goes on and on. That's how gaming is nowadays, unfortunately. And I feel like that's how it's always going to be um, because there's nothing like game, gaming industry doesn't change. It, it gets set on a path and stays there forever. So with how poorly received Battlefield 2042 was, uh, DICE took on the mission to make it into a better game. Um, and it has taken some time. They've definitely been working pretty hard on it. And you can tell just by booting it up and giving it a go. Now, one of the things is that specialist stuff is done. Now they brought back the old classes, your assault, engineer, support, recon. Um, and how they were with Battlefield 3 and 4 works exactly the same way. Now, you still do have your specialists, which have their own special, unique ability. And those have been nerfed pretty hard, too. Some of the crazy ones, um, like those secret grenades, that's gone. So you can't have the grenade that, you know, throws missile alerts on tanks and things like that. They've also added tons and tons and tons of weapons. Weapons, like, from previous Battlefield games, like the M16A3, which is still awesome. The, the legendary AEK-971. Um, the A91, the G36, the list goes on and on. Each update, they bring back old favorites from the other games. And they're going to keep doing that. To eventually, we'll have a list of guns that is massive. Absolutely massive. On top of that, they're bringing back attachments, which they said were not going to happen. We have thermals again for, again for guns. And I know people are some, some hate them, some don't. Um, but at the same time, they were a staple for the Battlefield games for a while, and not, not having them in 2042 was kind of a weird, weird thing. Um, but they did something cool with it. So, like, as a tank gunner, like, the tank driver that has, you know, access to the main gun, you don't get thermals on the main gun. Um, but your, you know, the guy in the gunner seat for the control of the machine gun, he can get thermals on his if you unlock it. Um, I'm not sure if that's the way for like chopper gunner because I don't really use choppers that much the chopper gunner I don't know if it gets thermals or not It might but they definitely seem to have kind of like taken you know be like hey the tanks can kind of get OP with it Guns eh, not so much because you can spot anybody anyways um, And they've kind of like found a cool little balance to it that you wouldn't see too much from the other battlefield games like three and four where they thermals were just the way you needed to run with 2042, you don't need to run thermals, um, but they're available to you. When it comes to the guns, the gun play has definitely gotten a lot better. Hit detection is... I didn't notice a single issue with hit detection. Um, the spread for ARs has been changed. Tap firing is kind of the way to do it. Full auto, um, you know, can kind of mess it up a little bit at range. Uh, on top of that, you know, the lag and general clunkiness that you got when it first came out is pretty much gone i had no issues at all all this week with hit detection shots that i was like that should have hit none of it they completely revamped that entire system and it feels fantastic i mean 
some of these, like, I think it's really getting to be on par with Battlefield 4 on the gunplay side. There's definitely still work that needs to be done um, with, like, movement speed, a little, like, little things here and there that's not too bad that could just be tweaked a little bit. But nothing to get, like, super anal over and be like, all right, I'm going to uninstall this. It feels like it's in a great place with the gunplay right now um, when it comes to hit detection, the spread, recoil accuracy, everything with it just feels really good. They also introduced a new map with this one. They got quite a few new maps. Uh, they got away from the container ships, it seems like, and they're actually kind of getting to new stuff. Um, the one new map they did add into this one, this update, uh, it's like a Zavad map. It almost looks like Zavad, but winter. It's not that great. I really don't like it. Uh, I've been playing it on Breakthrough a lot, and I just it just seems weird. Um, it's an interesting map, but it's cool that we finally get maps that are not centered around a giant cargo ship. Um, and we get some, at least some old stuff, it feels like, or stuff that feels familiar enough, but the maps are still different enough that it doesn't feel like a copy and paste from every single map. When it comes to game modes, uh, you still have your normal 64 versus 64 conquest, which is usually where I hang out. Breakthrough is still in. They've done some tweaks, but it's still not really the greatest thing. Um, it's no rush. It tried to be a fake rush game mode and I just it just wasn't my cup of tea and I don't know I didn't really like it but rush is in the playlist you can play rush now the old original rush the only problem is it's 16 versus 16 I think they just really kind of put all their eggs in the basket of breakthrough they want people to play breakthrough but they're like we got to give them rush you know um, just because it's there also hardcore is available it's on the server browser so it's not like something that you you can play that's an official on the quick play it is available on the server browser all the xp works everything works like that even you know honest speaking of xp the battle pass is not that difficult to get through um i pretty much maxed out my battle pass not even paying a dime and i did it in like two or three days um but you know it definitely feels like progression's good unlocks are pretty easy to do and you know the game i just i just like it right now i generally say you know, listen, give it a try again. Um, I think DICE has learned the formula. They thought they could change the formula, but they were wrong. And now they're kind of shaping this this cluster of a game back into the Battlefield formula. And they're learning at the same time what they need to do for the next Battlefield game. What they can't change, what they can't get brave with, you gotta stick with the tried and true with Battlefield series and not try to change it overall. You can add stuff, just not try to change something that works. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Don't try to innovate something that is already perfect. Um, I definitely say give it, give it a try. I've been really enjoying it a lot. Um, gameplay, games right now are stale. I mean, the only thing that's any good releasing right now is Battlebit, um, which is amazing on itself, but I've seen a lot of people say, hey, I can't deal with the look of that game. Uh, I don't like the blocky stuff. So I'd say if you're somebody who got this game, played played 2042 for a few days and then uninstalled it, now it's probably the time to reinstall it and give it a shot. Um, you know, the only thing it's going to cost you is time and hard drive space right now. You already paid for it. It's sitting there, dusty. Dust it off. Give it a shot because I've been pleasantly surprised with it. Um, you know, and right now there's a severe lack of shooter games, and this one might just surprise you. But let me know down in the comments below, what do you think about Battlefield 2442 in its current state? What do you want from a new Battlefield game? All right, boys, talk to you later. Peace.